We are getting louder and louder about hating plastic and because of that, companies are starting to listen. We are getting compostable shopping bags. We are getting mysterious cups and straws that employees swear are eco-friendly and they're not plastic, but they can't actually tell you what they are. What annoys me about this is that a truly eco company would tell you exactly what you are buying. They would tell you what it was made of, ideally the supply chain and how it was produced, and most importantly, how to dispose of it. Instead, so many of these companies are just throwing green buzzwords at us, hoping that we will just go, oh sweet, plastic solved, and go back to consumerism as normal. Honestly, I feel like they're treating us like idiots, and we are not idiots. We deserve to know exactly what we're consuming and what it's made of. So what are these things made of? It's bioplastic, also known as plant-based plastic. Regular plastic is made from petroleum-based materials, so this essentially means drilling a oil and turning it into plastic. Bioplastics are made from biological or organic material. The most common one is PLA, polylactic acid. It's made from the sugars from cornstarch or sugarcane. It's actually a really impressive material. It can look and act exactly like plastic. So therefore it is most commonly used as plastic film, packing, bottles, styrofoam, plastic cutlery, packaging, auto parts, and textiles. The other bioplastic that as consumers we don't tend to see as much is PHA. Polyhydroxylalacatapa. <laughs> <Polyhydro> <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce that. But what I do know is that it's made of organisms. It's actually really cool. They're normally genetically engineered and they produce plastic from organic materials. I don't fully understand how it works. Something to do with the microbes are deprived of nutrients but given high levels of carbon. And they produce PHA as carbon reserves, which they store in granules and then we harvest them. It also has a chemical structure very similar to traditional plastics. And because it's biodegradable and will not harm living tissue, PHA is often used for medical applications like slings, bone plates and skin substitutes but it can also be used as single-use food packaging. So the first issue with bioplastics is the supply chain. At the moment the way that we make food is horrific. We use so much land, so much water, so many pesticides, so many fertilizers and other pollutants. We tend to just sort of gloss over it because we need food to survive. <laughs> But we also can't ignore it. So there was one study that compared seven traditional plastics and four bioplastics. The bioplastics produce much greater amounts of pollutants due to the fertilizers and the pesticides used in growing the crops and the chemical processing needed to turn organic material into plastic. The bioplastics also contributed to more ozone depletion and required extensive land use. It's not all bad news. Bioplastics do produce significantly fewer greenhouse gases and there is no net increase in carbon dioxide. So another study found that if all of the US switched from normal plastic to PLA plastic, they would reduce their greenhouse gas emissions by 25%. That is pretty amazing. I feel like we can't fully hold it against bio-based plastics that our food production is so an eco at the minute because I feel like that's something that just needs to be addressed anyway. We need to reduce the amount of pesticides, we need to figure out ways to use less land and be more sustainable just as a rule. So I think it's fair to imagine a future where we have done that. Then the issue becomes, are we using the plastics for a good enough reason? I think where bioplastics come into it, we need to really analyse if it is worth it, if it is worth that whole process to then create a throwaway fork that again is used for a matter of minutes if not seconds and then discarded. Would it not have been so much better to just wash a metal one? There is nothing we could do to make a throwaway fork more eco than a reusable. So the other issue with bioplastics is at the other end of the life cycle when they are discarded. So I started looking into this when I was on holiday and I was on the beach and it was absolutely covered in straws. Like they were everywhere. And I tried to pick up as many as I could, but I don't live there and I can't do a beach clean for 12 hours a day. So I absolutely missed hundreds, if not thousands, that all went into the sea. So obviously I was really upset by this. I gathered them all up and went to the manager and complained about it. 
and they were like oh no 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 you don't understand these are compostable it's amazing they're PLA they're made of corn it's absolutely fine and I was like sounds suspicious but okay I don't know anything else went away looked into it and I found out that PLA does not compost Technically, yes, it does compost. If you send it to an industrial composter, that industrial composter has to keep the compost at 60 degrees, that's 140 Fahrenheit for the Americans, for roughly 90 days. If that does not happen, it won't break down. So all of these straws that were going into the sea were behaving exactly like normal plastic. They were retaining their shape for God knows how long, until they eventually broke up into microplastic, which then the animals are swallowing. We're swallowing it in our drinking water, it's in our blood, it's in our liver, it's in our rain, it is everywhere and it is not good. What really annoys me about this is that all the companies who are providing all of these products are not providing access to industrial composting. So they will give you these things, they won't tell you that that's how you have to dispose of them. And also they're not making it really clear if they're recyclable because it's not clear. Some local facilities can recycle PLA, others can't. The only way to find out is by getting in touch with your local recycling plant and asking them. And if in doubt, don't recycle it because it can contaminate all of the normal plastic and then the whole batch gets sent to landfill. And then it gets even worse when you look into your local composting facility because a lot of them are on 30 day cycles. PLA needs 90 days, so that means it's not breaking down properly. I feel like they're trying to buy their way at their problem, but they haven't bothered researching it. They haven't educated any of us into how best to deal with it. It's just, it's a whole disaster. It's not working at all. And then we have to go into the purposeful deceit, which is how companies are labeling these products. If you see the word degradable, that's terrifying. I'll do a full video explaining all of these, but degradable means it will break up into microplastic. That's not good, we don't want that. If a company says biodegradable, that essentially means nothing. Because yes, we were all taught at school that if something is biodegradable, that means that it will break up in the natural world by organisms or some of the matter, and we don't have to worry about it. But these fake eco companies have tricked us. Basically, they don't consider a time frame. So essentially, given enough time, whether it's a millennia or a billion years, even plastic will eventually biodegrade, as in break up into microplastic to the point where it's no longer visible to the human eye. It doesn't mean composted, it means breaking up. So technically, they can label plastic as biodegradable, and they can certainly label bioplastic as biodegradable, even though it's not what we think it means. There's been so many tests where these biodegradable bags and cups and whatever else have been put in seawater, they've been buried in the soil, we've done all sorts of things to them, and years later, they're still perfectly intact. Then we get onto the word compostable, which used to be the friendly word. Compostable meant yes, go for it, but they had to make that more complicated as well. Because if something is industrially compostable, they can shorten it to compostable. But again, that doesn't mean what we think it means. That means an industrial composter for 90 days at 60 degrees when our home compost can't get that hot. A lot of industrial com composting facilities don't go for that long. It basically means nothing. <laughs> so the final label, the one that I hope is safe and will remain safe, is home compostable. If something is home compostable, that means it will break down in your home composter. It also means you can bury it in the soil and it would compost. I can't guarantee how long these items would last in the sea. I wouldn't recommend throwing them into the sea, but out of all of our options, they would probably fare the best. But still don't throw them into the sea, that's a horrible idea. I don't think bioplastics are bad, especially when you look into all the science that's gone into developing them and all the science that is working on future bioplastics and improving the life cycle as a whole. I think it's really incredible and it makes me feel really confident that we're gonna be able to get through this. What I don't like is the way that companies are completely abusing them, selling them as this magic silver bullet that can end the plastic crisis and everything's fine now and just keep on buying from us. That's not true. I think right now, it's the best option we've got. So personally, I use PLA plastic for my toothbrush bristles and for my floss. I also refuse to buy PLA toothbrushes and floss from companies 
who don't fully disclose it and aren't honest about how to dispose of it because I feel like then I'd just be buying into the lie. I'm trying to think of other things. I have these toilet rolls with the OK Home Compostable logo. I'm always happy when companies send me these. They're like packing peanuts, but they're made of cornstarch. They're not quite PLA because they do break down very easily. If you put one in water, they disappear, not immediately, but very quickly. I mean, I wouldn't recommend drinking it, but it is perfectly safe to put down the sink or you can compost them. I'm trying to think of other places where I have bioplastic. Oh, my food deliveries. So I get so much dry food that is delivered in um, PLA sort of film bags and all of them have like the home compostable logo on them. However, I think it is still really important to be aware of their shortcomings. I think we should be vigilant, be always looking out for that home compostable logo and also for the production of new plastics that are just even more eco and even better. Also, I think it's time to start complaining. I've gone to so many bars where I've asked for no straw and they're like, oh no, 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 it's fine. They're eco-friendly, they're not plastic. When you talk to the staff, they have absolutely no idea that they're supposed to be composted or sent to an industrial composter. They just put them in the bin. I'm not blaming the staff, it's not their fault whatsoever. But I think we need to start emailing the owners, the managers, whoever it is, and let them know that we're really annoyed and we're not being tricked by this. We know that they're using these products irresponsibly. And it's not okay, it's not solving the plastic crisis at all, it's just hiding it in plain sight. So yeah, that was this week's rant. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it wasn't too miserable. I really want to say thank you for watching the video through this far because bioplastic isn't the sexiest topic and also it can be really horrible hearing that a happy truth that you believed is actually a lie. So thank you for being willing to learn more about it because we are never going to be able to solve this plastic crisis if we don't know what we're dealing with. Subscribe if you'd like to learn more eco things. Thank you so much to everybody who's already subscribed and I'll see you next week. Bye!